All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back again with another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about my Fluanderies and how I play around hand traps. Now, hand traps is one of the biggest problem for the deck. If you get hand trapped, for example, if you get Ashed or Veiler, you're pretty much done. Your combo line is going to finish and you won't be able to go into anything. You're just going to sit around waiting for your opponents to do what they want to do. And then you get a play, you might get a play, you might end up losing. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the cards that you can use in your deck to go around certain hand traps. Again, I've gathered four of the most generic or common hand traps that I've played against online and in real life to show you guys how you can effectively play around them. So let's get into it. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is the the one card combo or the main line for the flow wanderies. This is pretty much the standard combo that you'll be doing in every turn. You can deviate at the end, but essentially this is going to be what you're doing every single turn. Firstly, you're going to normal summon Rabina. Rabina is going to add Eglin to Anne. You're going to normal summon Eglin. Eglin is going to add Empen to Anne. You're going to normal summon Empen. You're going to then get Dreaming Town and you're going to set this face down. So that's going to be the normal line for your um, strategy. This is what we do in the Flounderies deck every turn and it's very effective. You can deviate and change the Empen to something else like Ryza or Apex. But normally you want to go into Empen first to get that extra add to add the Flounderies spell or trap card to your hand. So with that said, and we know that we we know the line for the Flounderies. Now we're going to be talking about the hand traps and how they effectively stop the um, deck from going through. So we're going to shuffle up the hand traps and we're going to choose one by random. And then we're going to go ahead and talk about that one. So the first one is Effect Veiler. Now Effect Veiler is, again, a very broken card if you're using it against the Flowanderies. So Effect Veiler negates the monster's effect. So if we normal summon Rabina and they activate Effect Veiler, simply target my monster. Its effect is negated. So this line right here, the Eaglin, Empen, and then Dreaming Town, won't happen because its effect is negated. So now we're going to be talking about the cards that we use to go around the effect of Effect Veiler. And that is Call by the Grave, which is the first one, which allows us to banish that from the graveyard and negates its effect. Dim Dimension Shifter is another one. Normally, when you have Dimension Shifter in hand, you activate it first, like in the standby phase or draw phase. So cards like Effect Veiler or other cards that require us to go to the graveyard won't be able to use because this stops everything from going to the grave. Another card that we can use to go around Effect Veiler is Book of Moon and also Book of Eclipse. These cards will put your monsters face down, so Effect Veiler won't have anything to target. And finally, we use the Advent of Adventure. Advent of Adventure banishes your Flounderies card from your field or in your hand to allow you to add a card to hand and you gain 500. If you banish this card, it won't have anything to target, which will result in its effect wasting and you still get your effect from your monster. So these are the cards that you can use to play around the Effect Veiler. If you have other cards or you know other cards, please comment in the comment section below and let me know. I'm not saying that I know every single card, but yeah, these are the cards that I use to prevent Effect Veiler from stopping my Rabina from going into my combo. So now we're going to be checking out the second hand trap. So let's shuffle up and choose at random. So we're going to choose impermanence so impermanence work the same way as effect veiler it targets a monster on the field to negate its effect so we can use some of the similar cards that we use for uh, effect veiler but not all for example we can use advent because advent is going to remove the monster from the field which is going to prevent it from having a target we can use book of moon and book of eclipse because it does target and if i book my monster it's going to be face down we can't use Call by the Grave or Dimension Shifter because these specifically work with monsters. So, I mean, this doesn't work in monster, but this doesn't work in the graveyard. So these are the cards that we use against Imperm. It's limited, but we play three of, we can play two book, two book of Eclipse or three book, three book of Eclipse and three Advent. So these are very good cards to go around Imperm. Moving on to the next hand trap, let's shuffle up and choose so ash is one of the most generic or commonly used hand traps in the game it's very good and effective at stopping the uh, flounderies 
For example, if I summon my Rabina, Rabina has to search and Ash effect stop us from you know searching from for cards in our deck it can stop rabina it can stop eaglin it can stop mpen all of these cards are very weak against ash however we have a card in our deck that is broken against ash this card works so well against ash with this deck it's insane guys let's take a look at smorg bird of protection now again this card is pretty broken and why you ask let me show you exactly what it does so for example I have Rabina, I normal summon Rabina, I activate its effect, I chain this to it, which is going to chain block the Joyous Spring, the Ash, so I normal summon it, and so I get to add my Eagle into hand. Then immediately after I add the card to hand, I'll have to normal summon again, and then I can activate Eagle's effect, and I can chain the uh, Bird of Protection effect again, because it has a second one. Its second effect is that when it's normal summon, I can send one bird of protection from my deck to the graveyard to add the field spell to my hand. So I would just simply send this card to the graveyard, add the field spell to hand, and then I can add the M pen. Then I can go ahead and tribute these two cards to summon the M pen, M pen effect, and then I can chain with Rabina to prevent Ash from activating to stop my M pen. And then I could add this card to hand and set it face down. So right there, we played around Ash three times with Bird of Protection twice. And then we chain block with the Rabina. So if we play three of these monsters, we have a chance to play around Ash, which is pretty cool. We can also use cards like um, Magnificent Map to bait out the effect of Ash to negate. And we also play uh, Extravagance and we also play Pot of Duality. So we have a good amount of ways to actually go around Ash. Golden, Gold Sarcophagus is also another way. Because say for example, I really like this card in the deck. It's a very, very broken card. Say for example, I have one card on the field. Like for example, I mean in my hand. So I need a chain block, right? So I activate Gold Sarcophagus. I banish this card to the grave. Then normal summon. Effect is going to activate. And then this is going to chain block my ash. So Ghost Archive is created a way for me to chain block ash, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's how we chain block ash. Uh, it's not a lot, but it does work. So the last hand trap that we're going to be looking at is Droll and Lockbird. I believe that this hand trap is pretty crazy. Whenever I see it, I really hate it. And I don't have much outs for it, but we do have some. So one of the most effective ways to prevent you from getting Droll and Locked is D-Shifter. D-Shifter prevents everything from going to the graveyard, so you won't be able to discard this card to the graveyard to, you know, stop me from adding cards to my hand. So if I D-Shifter your monster, your monster, you won't be able to do that. Another way is to use a Call by the Grave, which it's only at 1, so that's, that's sad. But yeah, we can use Call by the Grave to banish it from the graveyard to negate its effect so we can actually go into our play. So those are the two cards that I have to prevent or to play around the Droll Unlock. It's little, but that's all I have for now. So those are the most common hand traps that I've played against with the Flow Underies. The other hand traps that are prevalent don't really affect the deck, like for example, Nibiru or even... The, the shifter which is another crazy card it doesn't really affect the deck it actually helps the deck a lot so um other cards other hand traps out there can do something but it doesn't really affect this deck so these are the most common one common ones that actually stop the deck if you guys know any more that is pretty effective against the wonderies let me know in the comment section because i really like to know because this is my main deck right now so yeah that's it and hopefully this video was helpful if it was please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel for future content